Oh uh, yeah, I saw that place from a different location. Uh -oh. What the hell? Oh shit! Scared the hell out of me, man. Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming. Uh, we're back at our ship, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to do some uh, stuff at the workbench. Excuse me. Then we're going to sleep, eat, drink, get all caught up on that, and then continue um, on our questing here. So let's go ahead and go to the workbench first. So I'm going to break down. I sold a couple of the weapons back at that uh, vendor bench after I left you guys and went back in uh, to the... Uh, the, the Emerald Vale exhibit place, whatever the hell it was, and sold a few just so we can get some money so we can do some more tinkering. But um, for the rest of this stuff, oh, this has a this has a diamond next to it. What does that mean? That means something that makes this a nicer weapon, but I can't remember what it means. It's still only a level one, though. Here, let's look at something here real quick. If we go to settings, uh, and we go to, no, not settings. We want to go to journal and codex and symbols. Uh, damage types, buffs, debuffs. I read something about a diamond when I was reading through this stuff, but I can't remember what it said about it. Probably wouldn't be in debuffs. Weapons and armor. Modifications. Weapon management. Special weapon effects. Uh, 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 pristine weapons. Oh, here we go. Pristine items can be identified by a diamond near their condition meters. A small percentage of weapons and armor you may find are considered pristine. They have more durability and are worth more to vendors. Ah, okay, okay. So, we could actually upgrade this pristine saber. And, you know, that could be our melee weapon for those sneak attacks. Right now, at level 1, it does 73 DPS, 36 damage. Compared to... Uh, 58 damage at 142 with the shock on it. But this is upgraded and modded. The other one isn't, but it could be. I, think, I just think this would be a, a better, you know, sneaky stealth type of weapon. And it is a pristine. So we're going to hang on to that, and we might even upgrade it too. But let's go ahead and break down uh, everything else here. So we get the weapons parts. I'm going to hang on to one assault rifle. So we'll hang on to that assault rifle. We'll break down these pistols here. And why am I... Oh, because I put my my spare pistol in that slot. So let's put this guy back here. And this guy we can just break down too. Right? Yeah. I, I want to make sure I don't break down the one that I modded. Okay, so that gets us a bunch of weapon parts that we can do repairs with. So let's look at that now. Um, this definitely needs some repair. Oh, if we hold R, we can repair all that's equipped. We have 76 weapon parts, so yeah, let's do that. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, this is only 95% damage, so I don't think we need to... Well, it only takes six parts. So what the hell, yeah, let's repair it too. Okay, now for armor, um, we have, uh, all right, hold on a second. So we found this riot control armor, which gives us stealth skills and it gives us more armor than this mining gear. So I think what we do is we break down the mining gear, we'll break down Parvati's original uniform, uh, we'll hang on to this, and then this will actually become our new... Determination. What, uh, what does Determination do again? Um, skills. 
the ter the termination skill increases the maximum health of your companions. Oh, so if we kept that helmet on, that would actually help uh, Parvati, as opposed to as opposed to having more uh, damage with our one-handed melee weapon, which actually is helping us for sneak attacks. They both have the same armor, too. Hmm. Well, okay. Kind of hard to decide what to do. Uh, we are we definitely want to break these two guys down, though. So let's do that so we have stuff to repair with. I guess I'm going to hang on to those for the time being. But what we can do is... Um, let's go back to our weapons for a second. So this pristine weapon here, uh, and we also got this assault rifle. So let's see what we can do with this assault rifle, because I'd like to replace it with this one eventually, if we can, because it's a bigger, you know, heavier white rifle. So if we go here and we go to Tinker, um, let's upgrade this. Let's also start upgrading the sword. And I think I'm going to... Okay, so that gets us down to 319. Let's upgrade that one one more time. Uh, and it doesn't look like we have enough bits to uh, upgrade that further. Okay, now let's try modify. Can we install a mod on this? We don't have anything to modify the sword. What about this guy? Uh, Mag 2 Power. Okay, so this changes this to a plasma weapon, just like the other one is, uh, for the magazine. And we could also give it a gyrocyte, which will reduce the spread. So I think we want to do that for sure. Okay, so now this weapon has plasma damage just like this one. So that's 234, 246. Excellent. Okay, so that had the intended effect. So this is now going to take the place of this one. Um, this is 95 DPS now with 47 damage. This is still 142. So until we can upgrade this one a little bit better, um, I think we'll probably continue to stick with the hammer. It makes more sense, particularly, you know, when we're going to go after those um, those robots. Okay, so for Parvati, let's give her our old... Uh, let's give her our old... I guess we have to take that out of our slot first. Here, we'll put this one up there, and we'll give her this one so she has a little bit better weapon. And then this one, I think we can just break down. Uh, okay, so yeah, break this one down for parts. We're going to hang on to both of those, and I think we're, I think we're good to go. Uh, do we need to repair any armor? It doesn't look like we do. So we're keeping the hammer for a little bit longer. We still got our shoddy. We got our new awesome plasmas. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that reflex sight. That's really cool. That must have been the mod that we just added. And then we still have our really cool. Hey, wait. What happened to the scope on this? Did I remove the scope off of this, or did I never have it in the first place? I can't remember. I don't think I had it in the first place. Why did I think there was a scope on here? Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think there was a scope on here. Can't take me anywhere. All right, so I, I think we're all set uh, with all that kind of stuff. Now, let's go ahead and sleep. So we'll just sleep for the, the minimum amount of time to get all of our rest back. Okay, so that's taken care of. And we're going to need to eat something, so let's chow down on some food here. Uh, those are cigar smokes. That's a salve. This is a frozen dinner. Yeah, let's have the frozen dinner. And we're probably going to need um, two things to get our health fully back, or our food fully back. So let's take one of those. 
Um, this is companion's leader. Cool down. Okay, we're gonna need water, and we'll take an apple juice. And that should get our food. Yep, okay, all of our stats are back to max. We are ready to go. Okay, so um, we go that way to turn in Martin's quest. Uh, do we want to do that first before we start uh, the next quest? Might not be a bad idea because we'll get the XP and we'll get the... Um, you might get a reward or something. So yeah, let's do that first. So I'll see you guys over in town. Okay, so we have to decide if we're going to uh, turn our quest into Abernathy or to this Esther Blaine. Um, let's see if we can get any information about this again. We found the hidden cache of experimental anthracillin. This could be useful to someone. Abernathy believes he's dying. He wants a special cache of anthracillin found in the Emerald Vale Community Center. Esther confronted you outside of Abernathy's house and suggested that you give the medicine to her instead of Abernathy. If you guys didn't see that, um, which was two or three episodes back, uh, she claims that if I give her the medicine, she's going to use it to help other people in the town who can't get it from the company. Now, she could be lying to us. On the other hand... You know, Abernathy is supposedly a hypochondriac and may not may not be dying at all. He just thinks that he is. So, I don't know. I mean, it's really kind of hard to tell which way this will go. It could go anyway, really. She could be lying to us or she could help the town. Um, he could maybe be dying, but he's probably not. Uh, but he does seem like he's a little bit of a nutcase, too. Um, boy, I don't know. I think what we should probably do... What would happen if we just talked to them for a minute? Somebody's been running around talking about the hope. wonder if that's a new drug of some kind. Yeah, see, this guy seems like he's an addict. <laughs> You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. All right, let's, um, I, I don't know, man. I, I think this guy, I think this guy's an addict. He looks like an addict. He really does. Let's go talk to her one more time, and then we'll have to make a decision on what we're going to do. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. So you're an HR person. Ah, oh, interesting. I, I, think, I think we need to give the medicine to her. She claims she's going to help other people with it. She could be lying to us. You know, and if she is, she is. But I'm pretty sure Abernathy is an addict. Because, you know, when we first talked to him, he said, you know, he said something about the hope. Is that a new kind of drug? And he looks like an addict, too. So we're going to go ahead and give the medicine to her. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. It's not that simple. You want my sonnets, you're going to have to buy it. Charm never. That's harsh. At least leave me something to remember you by. I'm curious who you're going to give that medicine to. Well, you know, we're trying to we're trying to play a little bit of a of a scoundrel type of a character. And um, I do have the ability to intimidate her, so I think we're going to go with that. I am kind of curious, though, who she is going to give it to. You know what? I think my curiosity is going to get the better of me this time. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Well, you know what? You can't argue with that. You can't argue with that. Okay. Well, even though we're a bad person, we did a good thing. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of being an evil character, you guys. I'm sorry. I just... 
It's not in me. Um, we're not really an evil character, though, anyway. We're just... We're a little bit of a... We're supposed to be a little bit of a scoundrel. And we are. I mean, we have stolen stuff, but... Um, you know, I think if we have a chance to, to do some real good, we're probably, we'll probably will too, as long as we don't lose any money doing it. <laughs> we, well, actually we did lose, lose some money because we could have intimidated her and gotten more, but that's okay. All right. So we took care of that. And where are we at? Um, we're about a third of the way through level four. So that's good. Um, so I guess the next step is to... Work on these quests. So we've got Fistful of Digits. We could actually try uh, and kill these guys. We might get some good loot and weapon off of them, too, before we go do this. We're going to do Die Robot at the same time, you know, that we go to the geothermal plant, too. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's go ahead and, and make this the active quest. And see if we can do some bounty hunting. Um, okay, so is everything out that direction? 48 meters. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Well, let's go. I think we're ready to rock and roll. That's Birdie. That's Doc. And that's... Gulliam. Gulliam. Uh, he's the furthest away, so let's go, let's do Birdie Cotton first. I used to skip rocks in the river until Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. Are you kidding me? I bet she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. <laughs> That's funny. What a biznatch. Okay. Should probably get our weapon out. I hear something. It's one of those gorilla dudes. Uh, there's probably something there we can loot. It looks to me like there's also probably uh, a couple more that are sleeping down there. Oh, there's our ship over there. All right, well, um, are we in our heavy armor? Yeah, we are. All right, well, let's do this. Um, inside voices. Inside voices, exactly. Do you think you can um, last in a fight now? You do have heavy armor on. You know what else I could do, too, to help her out? Is I could put this on. That gives her more health. So, let's try it. I hope I don't regret this, because I don't really want to lose her. Um, we're going to put you on aggressive, but we want you to stay ranged. Okay, and let's also move you... Well, she probably should stay close to me, in case she gets charged. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Now, we're supposed to be able to see the weak spots on these guys. Cripple. So, does that mean he, like, can't move? Oh, shit! Yeah, these guys are, like, really susceptible to the plasma weapons, it looks like. All right, pa uh, Parvati took a little bit of damage, but she seems to be okay. I don't know how much she actually helped, but... Terror Ray Beak. Okay, let's keep going after uh, Birdie Cotton. One of our bounties here. Okay, so she's down there in this um, area here. Let's do a little bit of reconnoitering here. Is 
Is she by herself? There is a cannon, a tamed cannon down there. Oh no, there's guys down there. A lookout and a hooligan. All right, well, you ready for this, Parvati? Uh, I don't have no idea how tough she's gonna be, so maybe let's try let's try one of our buff thingamadoodles. What's the thing that gives me the sniper? This does. So for 15 seconds, I get an uh, extra headshot. Plus 25 damage. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, we wasted her or him. If we stay down with those guys. Here, turn that off. <laughs> we smoked her. <laughs> okay. Smoked her. And those guys don't even know what the hell. They're just like, doot, 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 doot. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so let's get back up here. Um, We got that dog to worry about. Okay, let's try this guy. Parvati, don't go down there. Oh, man. Not good. Where's she at? Oh, you did, you did good. You did very good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> she ran right down there as a thing, though. Um, and... I don't get that because she's supposed to stay far away. Her distance is far. Well, you know what, though? That's the distance from me. That's the distance from me. That's right. Okay. Well, she's alive, though. And the enemies appeared to mostly be coming after me, which is good because, you know, I'm... <clears throat> I have a much better chance of surviving than she does because she's just, you know... AI and all that. Tactical shotgun. Ooh, baby. What is that? 238 DPS versus 202. This one's got the shock mod, but oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, yes, please. Well, I'm sure we'll come across a, another mod that we can put on that later. Oh, I love this. I wonder if this is uh, like semi-auto too. Does it say if it is? It's got eight rounds. Sold by Hammersmith is a short range, high spread weapon. This gun works very well in the hands of people with little training. Uh, okay, cool. Well, that was worth the price of admission right there. That's uh, our friend that we just took out. We gotta cut her finger off. Look at the ammo and the lockpicks. Very nice. Birdie Cotton's finger. Is Birdie Cotton a man? Oh, I think I think he probably is. I thought for some reason I was thinking Birdie Cotton was a woman. Excellent. We got 500 XP for that deal. Um, that is a level two hunting rifle. It is not as good as the one we have. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Fall damage is uh, definitely a thing in this game. Make sure nothing's booby-trapped in here. Hit cartridge. Light machine gun. 
320 DPS. That's a lot of DPS. Uh, and it uses light armor too, or I mean light ammo. Ah, uh, wow, we're gonna have to check that out too. Um, we're getting a lot, a lot of good ammo, or a lot of good weapons from this. Is there something else back here? I don't see anything. Okay, anything else for us to loot? Yes, there is. Heavy ammo, more apple juice, apple, whatever that was. Okay, I think we're done here. Is this a new? Oh yeah, this is a new container. What do we got in here? Nicely done. Stomaton bit jeweled ring bracelet. Okay, so that's mostly junk, but this also means it's money. Money in our hand. Well, um one thing I haven't figured out yet is do I have to give my uh people, do I have to give them ammo? I don't think so, because it doesn't show an ammo slot, so they must have infinite ammo. Well, uh, we could give her this shotgun. Though this isn't a bad rifle for her to have, with the plasma on it. <laughs> Look at that sucker. It's like a big minigun. Um, nah, you know what? I think she's probably going to be better with that weapon. I mean, I don't know why I think that. I just kind of do. Could be wrong. Is this another container we can go inside of? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, cool. So, one down, two to go. So, the next one is over this way. Const oh, that's Constable Ray's. So we got the Gulliam, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I'm probably not, and Doc Mabel. Let's go get Doc Mabel next. We got ourselves a nice new shotgun. It's fantastic, man. There's probably going to be... Oh, yeah, I saw that place from a different location. Uh -oh. What the hell? Oh, shit! Scared the hell out of me, man. I didn't even see you guys. They like burrow underground. Damn it. Ah. No, 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 no. Woo, man! That was close. Holy smokes! Uh-oh, Parvati. Uh, can I do anything for her? I had no idea those guys were there. They just all of a sudden were there. Ah, oh, shit. Did we lose her? Oh, man! I want those weapons back if we did lose her. I know that sounds terrible, but is there any way to like heal her or revive her? I think we lost her, guys. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um Well. I can't really... It doesn't look like I can pull that off. I don't want to put any of the other armors on her. Parvati has left the party. We lost her. And that was, like, completely unexpected. They just were there all of a sudden. It's like they came out of the ground. I think they did come out of the ground. 
Oh man. That's uh that's a sad, sad day. I gotta tell you, that's a sad day. Oh, shit. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, uh, other than l reload, but I don't know. I kind of feel like that might be a little cheaty because what happened happened. But we were comp we were totally ambushed though too. Yeah, she's not in my party anymore. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, Parvati. That really sucks. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it to have companions on Supernova. Either that or you just have to, uh... Those guys dead? I hope so. Either that or you just have to, um... You know, just don't let them get into combat. But we weren't... I mean, it wasn't even that. We were just walking down the road and we got ambushed. Oh, shit. Okay, well... It is what it is. We move on. The only way we're going to get her back is if we, you know, if we die before I save again. And I wasn't planning on saving yet, but I'm also not going to deliberately try and, and die to get her back. Encumbered. Ah, shit. Now, now when I could really use her too, right? Yeah, there's like no running around for us. Well, there goes the timer. I feel, guys, I feel like we, we need to, to move on. That what happened happened, and it's uh, it was unfortunate. It wasn't due to anything stupid that I did, <laughs> or that she did either. It just, we got ambushed. P plain and simple. I didn't even see those guys, if they were visible at all. Um... So, yeah, that's it. That's kind of a sad ending to this episode, but it is what it is, and uh, there's not much we can do about it. So, well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, send out, uh, or send me a comment, and uh, share out the video. Those things do help the channel. I do appreciate it. And I'm going to uh, end this episode and then cry because I lost Parvati. No, not really, but I am kind of bummed, though. Uh, anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.